What up, Hope Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten back at it again with the weekly Twitter advice part two. This is the part where if you didn't watch yesterday's video, you wouldn't know, but we got some questions here from Twitter and this is where we see what Twitter has to say about the nonsense. The, the questions got a little messy, but it's cool. I got a vacuum, I got a broom, I got a mop, I got a dustpan, I got a trash can, I got everything we need to clean up the mess, okay? And Twitter is here to be our, what are, what are those called? Uh, not assistant, but the bitch, a housekeeper, okay? Twitter is here to housekeep. I think it's housekeepers, right? Who like come in and clean your house? I don't mean maids. I'm not talking about maid. I'm talking about somebody with like more prestige than a fucking maid, okay? Let's not be disrespectful. We're gonna go ahead and get started with question five. This is the one where the girl, girl's ex cheated, which for the record, not really sure why that information was necessary, but okay. This is the one where the girl was single and she went on a date with the dude in her building and now she wants to ghost him because he's ignorant and rude. So let's see what Twitter has to say. He doesn't deserve to be ghosted nicely. Block that number. And the next one says, damn, I hate that as women we have to find ways to nicely turn men down. It's horrible. Honestly, if I were you, I'd just tell him I'm not interested and watch my back, have good security, and pray for the best. Why, you might ask? Why does she have to have good security and pray for the best? Because niggas be crazy. Damn. Y'all out here killing bitches for saying no and shit. Like, do better. God. Somebody says she's dating B.O.B. Y'all rude. Y'all rude. I'm sure just because B.O.B. thinks the earth is flat does not mean he would straight up tell a bitch he think her pussy might sink. Come on. He sounds like the kind of dude who will take rejection badly. Can you move? Oh, this is the cutest gif I've ever seen in my life. I didn't know that gif existed, but now I'm just like, my heart is full. My heart is so full. All right, this person said, congrats to you for recognizing those red flags. Tell him you believe flat earthers should be together and it just won't work out. Then get some mace. Damn, damn you gotta mace some shit. Fuck. Never date in your building. Now you gotta move or get him evicted. Shit, get him evicted, flat. Out telling the truth. Get it? Because he's a flat earther. Flat. I don't know if that was on purpose, but it's funny. It's a good pun. Oh my god. That pun reminds me. Fucking Chavez and I went to Olive Garden and he got the giant meatball with the fucking spaghetti, right? So meatball is not very, is not like the best. So he was like eating it earlier today and then he was like, yeah, I was like, how's the meatball? And he was like, oh, it's mediocre. And I was like, it's what? He's like, it's mediocre. And I was like, it's meaty ogre. It's a meaty ogre meatball. And then I died laughing because that shit is hysterical to me. That shit is so fucking funny. And like he made the pun on purpose, but he was like so, he was so unhappy about having made the pun, but the pun just pleased me to no end. And like, that's the kind of love I need. Someone who will make a pun for me, even though he hates puns. Like, Cause that shit was funny. Oh, this one says, have a friend tell him, moving on, right? But this one says, have a friend tell him that you fell off the edge of the earth. Oh Lord. Oh, look, it's Vanessa Hudgens. She's back, baby. And she said, there's a line in Biggie's 10 crack commandments that I apply to my dating life. Never sell no crack where you rest at. There is no polite way to ghost. Ghosting is the opposite of polite because you don't care enough to say you aren't interested. Just tell him. Oh, this one says, say yes. Actually, it does stink and be out. I think this is good advice in regards to like don't date people like who live in your apartment building but it but it doesn't help her give her some real Vanessa Hudgens you have let me down for the first time ever you gave her good life advice but what about advice for her current situation you say just tell him but how how does she tell him 
I don't know, man. I don't know. This girl's just gonna have to leave. She, the, the, her only option is to burn the apartment complex down and move somewhere out of state. All right, we are gonna go ahead and move on to question six. Did you know? Did you know I was gonna yell the six part two? Cause I normally don't. I've been trying to, I've been trying to be gentle with your earlobes, but you know, fuck them. I said earlobes. I didn't mean earlobes. I meant eardrums. Y'all know what I mean. Y'all are smart. Okay, so this is the one where they, sorry, are the only black producer for a news station and her white coworkers are like, nah, fuck that bitch. And her male white coworkers, her, sorry, her white female co coworkers are like, nah, fuck that bitch. And her male white coworkers are like, ah, oh, like she cool, she I. And she's like, what am I gonna do? Because Ray Lynn and Tiffany Lynn and Jonathan Lynn don't like me. Don't worry about what these white people are doing. Nine times out of 10, they wanna be you. This one says, uh, if it really bothers you, get your resume together and move on to the greener pastures. And this, on, on a petty note, hang with the fellas, take up all the opportunities, make more money than them, and move on. Thank you, brilliant, bad, and bougie. We are, girl, we are like this. You are like, right here on my level yes hang out with the dudes take all of the opportunities make all of the fucking money and tell them to go suck on a fat dirty dick if you're being excluded at that level where they're literally making a point of it you need to go to hr they're creating a toxic work environment for you and that's going to bleed into how they interact with you on work matters as well well, I guess if you want to be reasonable about this, then going to HR is a valid option. But to be honest, I don't think HR is really good for issues like this because HR is just gonna be like, well, have you tried talking to them? And I just, you know, we take pride in making sure that we provide a diverse workplace. <laughs> like, I don't know how much use HR is actually gonna be, but like for the sake of professional professionalism, I guess you could go to the HR office. This one says, stop seeking acceptance and approval from them during your lunchtime focus on you go for walks eat where they can't go shopping make plans with friends who don't work there your job isn't your whole life it's just your income do your job fuck them with the classic Yara Shahidi gift fuck those people if it ain't directed it ain't respected clock in clock out and enjoy your life outside the job oh did I do that right I, I never know if I'm doing that right Ugh, I love Cardi B. That's my, that's my spirit animal right there. <laughs> All right. This one says, I've been in that exact position as a producer. Don't let them stop your hustle. Keep working on your show. Not sure if you're involved with Nab J. Don't know what that is. If not, go on a local, let me see, North America or National Association of Black Journalists, I'm assuming. If not, join a local chapter and go to a conference. I've leaned on those connections for support. Where are your friends? Have all your girls slash guys show up. Either y'all go out for lunch or tell them to show up with lunch baskets each week and go to lunch with you. Do not waste your energy on those people. Rise above it, keep your head up. That is an option that like I considered but I didn't really talk about in last week or in yesterday's video, which is like you can definitely just like have your friends bring you lunch and stuff like that. Or you know what, you know, you know what you do Okay, I got this. I got this. Okay, you buy a nice ass, fancy ass lunch with like fancy hors d'oeuvres and tasty cheeses and yummy fruits with a delicious dessert, right? For the office, right? But like, not enough for everybody. And you make sure that those bitches, when they're going to go eat lunch, you make sure they see this delicious ass catered lunch being brought into the office, right? And you put it in the common area and then you sit there and when they try to go eat, you say, nah, bitch, nah, this ain't for you. This is for the people who talk to me on a regular fucking basis, ho. That's what you do. Sorry. I'm. <laughs> I don't think that's actually that would actually be productive, but God, it would feel so good. All right, so Vanessa Hutchins will be what we end this one on, which says, 
I get wanting to bond and have some sense of pleasantries with the people you work with, but it's not mandatory. I would absolutely find other black women to have lunch slash happy hour with to feel less isolated. If you insist on breaking bread with them, then invite them to lunch. No, don't invite them to lunch. Fuck them. Ugh. She always gives them good advice and I'm irritated because it's actually probably useful. I think that question just depends. Do you want to be petty or do you want to, you know, make friends with them? I say fuck them. All right, so we are on the final question, which is pregunta numero, pregunta numero siete, where she's talking about her hermana, right? I think that's how you say sister, right? So. She stole her sister's boyfriend and they together kicked out the sister. The sister stole all this bitch's money and now this bitch is like, I don't know what to do because she's being so ghetto. Not like it's ghetto to sleep with your sister's man or anything. So let's go ahead and see what Twitter has to say. This one says, cheers to ghetto game. This one says, you are sleeping with your sister's ex whom you were with while he was still with your sister. No one feels bad for you. Ask your man to give you some money. <laughs> Make your man finance you. Y'all want to play these dirty games like, ooh, now, now he got a broke bitch. Now he was, he was probably just with you because you had money. Now you don't got money. Now what you gonna do? This one says, even though you are a terrible sister, agreed, what she did was illegal. It's your choice, but at the end of the day, your actions and the choices affect the outcome of your life. Move differently and the universe will reward you. I don't believe in all that kitschy stuff, but what she did was illegal, so. It sounds like y'all been playing ghetto games. If you don't wanna call the police, ask for a loan, or call your bank. I need some money. Immediately. Oh, oh, this one asks a valid question. This says, did she forge checks and clean out your account, or did she take her money from their joint account before your name could be slapped on it? I don't think it's that deep, but that is a possibility that I did not consider, in which case, you double trash. She did what? Girl, you need to be counting your blessings that she didn't lay hands on you. That's exactly what I said. Talk about she's playing ghetto games, bitch, you're lucky she didn't kill you, shit. If this were me, you'd still be looking for teeth that are knocked out of your mouth, I'm just saying. This feels like real advice. Okay, so we're, we'll, we'll get some real advice. Uh, call the bank and the credit bureaus. Be glad it's not worse. Don't do dirt next time. Watch for the signs that you're going to be the next sister to get kicked out of his house because trust me, it's gonna happen. I mean, that's it. And then finally, I'm pretty sure this is Dita Von Teese, and she says living well is the best revenge. And with that, Ho Biscuits, peace out because it's getting lit.